Guys, skin cycling, as you know, it's all the rage on social media. Basically what you want to do is to cycle your products. That maximizes the use and the efficacy of the product, but at the same time, minimize uh, side effects such as skin irritation. A classic example is to exfoliate. So you can exfoliate using something like an alpha hydroxy acid or beta hydroxy acid. For example, one night, you may straight after use something like a retinol or retinoic acid. For those of you who are really advanced, you can apply it sequentially. For those of you who are just starting on cycling, what you might want to do is give yourself a night to break. Thereafter, to pick up with a retinol, maybe 24 to 48 hours after exfoliation. What the exfoliation does is to actually improve the absorption of your retinol, your retinoid or your retinoic acid. Then you give yourself a break, for example, maybe one to three nights, depending on your skin sensitivities. Thereafter, you cycle again. So this concept is actually a very old concept, and dermatologists call this pulse therapy. So we do that for things like eczema, psoriasis, and many other skin conditions, where we start patients on one particular medication that is usually more powerful, but then we give the patients a break for many days, thereafter to cycle it. So that's skin cycling. A classic example, like I said, if you're looking at an anti-aging uh, program, is this. This is how I do my skin cycling. Over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, I may use a uh, alpha hydroxy acid and a beta hydroxy acid scrub. Straight after the scrub, I may apply um, a strong retinol or preferably a retinoid. So for Saturday, Sunday night, I'm exfoliating, applying retinol or retinoid, and then Monday all the way till Friday, I'm using a very weak formulation of a retinol. So a retinol which I personally use is Murad. The reason being is that it's a gentle retinol, it's creamy, but at the end of the day, you've got to pick a solution or a cream that suits your skin type. So that's an example for anti-aging skin cycling. What happens if you have acne? Well, it's the same principles. For example, you might want to use adapalene if you're in the US and you can get yourself adapalene um, over the counter. Or if you're in Australia and your GP gives you adapalene, you can certainly cycle that. So it could be Monday to Friday, you're using adapalene. Saturday, Sunday, you're using a beta hydroxy scrub, something like a 2% salicylic acid by CeraVe or Neutrogena. So this is a simple way of skin cycling. If you have pigmentation problems, you can tie in your cosmeceuticals with your current skincare pro program. So that might include something like hydroquinone, but you might want to use it two nights a week and then give you a couple of nights break, thereafter recycling again. So these are very, very simple uh, techniques. For more advanced practitioners, you can start skin cycling both in your morning and also in your evening routine. An example is to use antioxidants in the morning, so stuff like ferulic acid, ascorbic acid, and tocopherol, which is your vitamin E. They provide you with strong protection against UV and environmental damage. At night, you may want to use retinol. So you may want to start off with a very mild concentration, 0.5%, and you can work up to 0.1%. So remember, your morning and your night, you may be using a strong formulation of an antioxidant and a medium uh, strength retinol at night. On the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, you might want to give the retinol a break, but use something stronger. For example, a retinoid. So you might want to use something like tretinoin. If you can get your hands of tretinoin one to 3%, that's a really good way to actually exfoliate your skin, but something as powerful as that, you might want to cycle every two weeks. Guys, that's a simple tip on how to use skin cycling. Remember, the most important aspect of this is to understand your skin's threshold. Everyone has a different threshold. If you have sensitive skin, for example, rosacea, eczema, seborrheic dermatitis, what you should do is to modulate your application based upon your skin sensitivities. So the first thing you do before chucking on a lot of product is to understand your sensitivity level and not to exceed that threshold. If you do exceed that threshold, it's important to learn how to bring your skin back down. A simple thing could be the use of emollient, something like Cicaplast or even white soft paraffin for a day or two, let your skin settle down, recover, and thereafter restart your cycling program. That's it for me, I'll see you next week.